aneurysm is bulge in a blood vessel caused by weakness in the blood vessel wall, usually where it branches. As blood passes through the weakened blood vessel, the blood pressure causes a small area to bulge outwards like a balloon. Any condition that causes your artery walls to weaken can bring one on. The most common culprits are atherosclerosis and high blood pressure. Deep wounds and infections can also lead to an aneurysm. This video case taken from 15-year-old male patent with history of bullet injury and immediately removed the bullet one year back, but after one year follow-up brain core shows unexpected huge brain aneurysm. Keep watching until end of the treatments of brain aneurysm 3D video. CT brain case report are pre and post IV brain court follow up image and compared pervious images case report are. There is 6 cm by 5 cm suprasolar homogeneous lobulated hyperdense avidly enhancing lobulated lesion with expansion of the cellar and intrasolar extension. The mass compressed the cerebral peduncles, the third ventricle and caused 2 cm shift of the cerebral midline to the left. There is also extension of the mass to the paracellar structures. No sign of adjacent organs invasion. No skull base lytic or sclerotic bone lesion seen. No calcification detected. There is moderate obstructive dilatation of the lateral ventricles of the brain with effaced sulci and cystinal spaces. The right eye globe had been surgically removed. The paranasal sinuses and mastoid air cells are clear and well aerated. There is left occipitoparital bone post surgical defect, burr hole. Our case impression is, large suprasolar pseudonirism with intrasolar and paracellar extension and mass effect causing moderate obstructive hydrocephalus plus significant subfalcine herniation to the left. NB. The previous image showed acute post-traumatic changes with hemorrhagic contusion subarachnoid hemorrhage, right eye collapse and metallic foreign body in the left paratocipital region, so the pseudonirism is likely a complication of the previous trauma's deep wound. Treatments are surgical clipping or endovascular coiling or a flow diverter can be used to seal off an unruptured brain aneurysm and help prevent a future rupture. However, in some unruptured aneurysms, the known risks of the procedures may outweigh the potential benefit. During microsurgical clipping, a small metal clip is used to stop blood flow into the aneurysm. A craniotomy is performed to create an opening in the skull to reach the aneurysm in the brain. The clip is placed on the neck opening of the aneurysm to obstruct the flow of blood and remains inside the brain. Endovascular coiling is also usually carried out under general anesthetic. The procedure involves inserting a thin tube called a catheter into an artery in your leg or groin. The tube is guided through the network of blood vessels, up into your head and finally into the aneurysm. Tiny platinum coils are then passed through the tube into the aneurysm. Once the aneurysm is full of coils, blood cannot enter it. This means the aneurysm is sealed off from the main artery, which prevents it growing or rupturing. During a flow diversion, pipeline procedure, a microcadator is navigated past the aneurysm without having to enter the aneurysm. Then, the flow diverting device, pipeline embolization device, is deployed across the neck of the aneurysm in the parent blood vessel where the aneurysm is present.